many of you have ever felt personally victimized by Taylor Swift? Yes, I'm still wearing my Christmas jam jam, but that's not what you're supposed to be mad about. You're supposed to be mad about that woman with the guitar. This video is sponsored by me and my small protein donut company. Click the link below after the video because it kind of hurts the video when you click off and grab some chocolate cake donuts with some protein. We ship out this coming Wednesday. Thank you guys all so much for the support. Hi, welcome back. I break down internet drama so you don't have to scroll through your phone and rot that beautiful brain of yours and then accidentally enroll yourself into Stanford University to partake in one of their Taylor Swift classes. Eva Jeffs is entering her professor era. She's gearing up to quite literally teach the course on Taylor Swift. I never thought I'd be a professor of Taylor Swift, but it's something that I'm probably most proud of out of anything I've ever done. When and it's not free, you have to pay. You will hand over that money with a smile on your face. I'm telling you, this woman apparently has the powers of a god or a demon, depending who you're talking to. Either way, point is, she will take over your soul. So if you want to avoid that, you should just hit the subscribe button and I will look into all this Taylor Swift drama for you and put it into a 20, 30 minute video, okay? Because at this point, I'm immune. And there are three types of people when it comes to Taylor Swift. One, the people that absolutely love everything she does, they will lick the floor this woman walks on. They march through the internet to make sure to virtually select Water, anyone who gives the slightest bit of critique to this woman while chanting and will find you in real life to make sure that you will not make that mistake again, critiquing her, all while chanting. Number two, the people who absolutely loathe her and everything she does, they will spit on the floor that she walks on, go to any internet corner that is praising her and make sure to tell everyone that they are wrong to like her it's wrong to like her, their opinions wrong. It's not subjective, it's just factual. And then they will find Taylor Swift in person and tell her that she sucks. Hey Taylor, yeah. you're really yeah. good. Number three, then there's the people that are confused as to why these two groups get oh so emotional over a blonde chick with a guitar and a very cute cat. And we have mixed that into an organization that also has a very cult-like following. American football. <laughs> have mixed these two very emotional groups of people together and it's getting out of control. People are at their limit with Taylor Swift and apparently she has ruined the whole sport of American football. And that's when it crossed the line for many Americans, okay? You can act like your cats are your children, Taylor. You can bake cookies with the president's name on it that made people really mad. But the line is crossed when you taint the American game that God himself has given us. The sweet, loving, humble sport of football. Inception! So let's talk about both sides. First up, the Taylor haters. The Taylor haters. According to my endless um, amounts of research I did, these people passionately hate Taylor Swift because her music, her victim personality. She dates too much. Did you know she dated Loki? Yeah, my man, are you serious? When the hell were you gonna tell me about this? He ain't got nothing to say. Apparently she's got a lot of fights with people. She fought with Katy Perry. She fought with Kanye West. And Kanye West are just as intense as Taylor, okay? This man has a whole church. Her success, they don't understand it. With this music, that music, the guitar, they don't like the music, which means other people also cannot like the music. You can't like things that other people don't like. She has cats. And she's a liberal. Liberal. Then around the beginning of September 2023, they would be able to add another thing to dislike Taylor Swift about. She started dating a football player, wait, and she goes to the game. Stop, not yet, to support her man, hold on. And the media keeps filming her. Now freak out, now's the time. There you go, do it. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Many people who dislike Taylor Swift are heavily upset that they are focusing a lot of time on Taylor Swift instead of the football game. Apparently she is taking up most of the screen time of that three hour game, soaking up all the attention and loving it when it should be all about the players. This girl, she's just, She's selfish. She's getting attention out of football game. Okay, so for example, like a touchdown will be made and they will show Taylor Swift. <laughs> it's a touchdown to Kelsey. 
a pass will be thrown or a great play will be done and they will just show Taylor Swift. By the way, I thought Taylor said she was an Eagles fan last year. Wasn't that in Eagles shirt, one of the songs? I guess not anymore. No. Allegiance has changed fast. Anything happens on the field. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift is chest pumping. She will kind of breathe. Taylor Swift. It will make headlines. Do you realize how much pressure there was on you today from the Swifties to get Travis Kelsey a touchdown with Taylor in the house today? <laughs> I don't think he was expecting to be asked about Taylor Swift. But since we're talking about Taylor at a football game, some people love it a little too much. Fans were recording Taylor Swift in her suite during the Chiefs game against the Chargers, capturing her every reaction. Best part was this moment when Taylor noticed the fans who were recording her and when she waved to them, they went crazy. <laughs> and that was Taylor Swift casting a spell. So that people continue to love her and her cat, motivating young women to never have children and pretend that their cats are their kids. That's what that spell was. That wave, that's what it was. Apparently, like, she's a witch to some people. Taylor Swift's dangerous descent into witchcraft, sorcery, and casting spells. That's a whole nother topic. Back to football. I like this one that says, she thought she almost lost him. And then he falls and then she reacts like this. <laughs> Why the fuck did that get 3.5 million views? Like I get it. I understand why it's annoying. Especially if you don't like someone, it makes it a thousand times more upsetting and triggering that this person's on the TV when I don't want to see their face. But like these clips are all posted to, to something called Celeb Bus Central. That's where you go to find celebrity stuff. So I mean, at least for you guys, like the sports fans, she's not on official sports YouTube pages. Travis Kelce and Taylor Swift celebrate on the field after Chiefs win AFC title. That's on the ESPN official YouTube page. Taylor Swift is a regular at the Chiefs and Travis Kelce games. That one's on the official NFL YouTube page. The NFL is becoming an embarrassment. Y'all better not ruin the Super Bowl by panning the camera on her every play they make like no one cares. Y'all letting her ruin the NFL. The whole NFL? Does Taylor Swift infiltrate games that she's not even at? That's very interesting that one woman has single-handedly taken down the whole NFL. And in a very few short months as well. That's a little, a little dramatic, but also kind of slay. That witch stuff must be working in her favor. So I don't mean to get political. But with Taylor Swift, shit gets very political. She made vote for Biden highly pigmented blue cookie. So yeah, we have to kind of get political. And the other thing, just from a security so you think Taylor Swift comes out against Trump. I don't care if they write that. I'm saying right now that this Hold is on. something that I know is right and you guys I need to be on the right side of history, yeah, and if he Taylor. doesn't win, that at least I, I, at least I tried. Now I'm just curious, audience. I am not a political commentator. I don't get political on my channel. I just like to make fun of things on the internet. But I'm curious. I don't know where my community stands. Who's conservative out there? And do you hate Taylor Swift? I will not shit on you. I don't care what side you're on. I'm just very curious. And I'll take in the liberals too. If you are a liberal, do you lick her butt? Because that's what many conservatives think that liberals do as liberals think that every single conservative hates Taylor Swift. And reading the comments on Facebook, that's the vibe that I get that conservatives really do not like Taylor Swift. It's exploitive to sell NFL merchandise. That moment is not for her. It is for the 53 deserving men that played the game and their coach, i.e. the kicker that made one of the biggest plays in the game. He should have gotten an interview instead of Swift. No attention should have been given to a fake teen pop singer. I think she is real. She's a real singer. She is an extremely liberal wacko that believes in late term. She proclaims to be moral and Christian, but going by her actions and comments, a Bible needs to fall from the sky, hitting her on the head. I can bet the rent she sensationalizes her music, making up stories of the people she dated for attention. But after listening to her lies on her record company, that tells you everything you need to learn about her an obligation, nepotism, and lack of gratitude. So Ken left a long paragraph and so did many other people that when I went to the page, they had a, 
I could tell that they were conservative. And the original post was just saying they enjoyed Taylor Swift's music. But I noticed many conservatives, when they talk about liberals, they say things like they're weak snowflakes. They let words hurt them. They get triggered over pronouns and misgendering and labeled bathrooms, jokes, you know, like the good ones that Matt Reif said. And my absolute favorite that I hear quite a bit when I'm scrolling through Facebook is if you don't like it, then don't watch it. Which I agree with. If you don't like something and it hurts you so bad, remove it from your life. Just get out of the situation. Like if you don't like Matt Reif, don't look at it. Turn off your TV. Stop commenting angry paragraphs on posts and they'll stop coming up on your Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. So I find it very interesting that these same type of people who call the other side sensitive and over emotional are getting very sensitive and over emotional when a woman appears on the screen for about 35 seconds. <laughs> So the topic of Taylor Swift is like ruining football games. She's taking up the whole game. It's so heavily spoken about. Researchers have broken down just how much of the game Taylor Swift has taken up. And I was aghast when I found out. On December 25th, she was captured three times for a total of 14 seconds, followed by 12 seconds on December 31st. Swift's presence increased to five times on January 13th. Uh-oh, it's increasing. Accumulating one minute and 16 seconds and continued with 24 seconds on January 21st. The most recent game on January 28th saw her on camera for 32 seconds, appearing for times. So I was a little confused if they meant that she appeared on camera four times for 32 seconds each or a total of 32 seconds. I looked at other websites and they said a total of 32 seconds, but let's just take mine because it's more time. If we take that most recent appearance, which was the highest amount of time, the four times, we're just going to multiply four to 32. That's two minutes and 13 seconds that this woman devilishly showed up on your screen and killed your soul. NFL games last three hours. That's 180 minutes. And that is zero. 0.007%. If we change that number to a total of 32 seconds rather than the two minutes that I got, just in case I'm confused, I'm not sure, but I'm not great at math. If it was a total of 32 seconds, that's even less then 0.00. So either way, Taylor Swift would have gotten an F if this was a school project on take up all the time of a football game. She failed. So I get that many people are annoyed that they don't like seeing her and it might feel like she's on screen for, you know, two hours and 58 minutes and you get two minutes of football. But instead you're getting about 35 seconds of Taylor Swift doing her witchy wave and puking some girls freaking out. And I noticed in some of my conservative friends or people that I see on Facebook that are conservative, they always say facts over feelings. But for some reason, when it comes to this, they do not like the fact they just want to stay in their feelings and say that she is taking up all of football. So I posted this on my Instagram, kind of reflecting exactly what I just said in this video. And I got this comment. If it's really not just about ratings and money, why isn't the NFL showing all the other players' wives or girlfriends? I'm sure there are plenty of other wives they could zoom in on other than Taylor. I mean, yeah, many probably have a wife and two or three other girlfriends on the side. Facts from an NFL player's daughter. Here's the thing though. Um, they aren't Taylor Swift. They aren't a worldwide known celebrity and singer that people literally will cry to look at. I really hope that football fans, I hope you guys don't think that the NFL cares about you personally, okay? All they care about is money and ratings. That's what TV is. And Taylor Swift is making them a lot of it. Just having Taylor Swift at the game has brought in $331.5 million. That's equivalent to how much a brand would have to spend to get the same amount of media exposure. And they're getting it for free. Companies love free. She doesn't even have to perform. She just makes a surprise gesture. And the Swifties get emotional. And the anti-Swifties get emotional. And very, very angry. But guess what? They're still watching because it doesn't bother you enough to watch an activity that really flutters your heart. You'll just complain, which drums up more exposure for the NFL. The Swifties are now watching and the NFL and ESPN are raking in all the money. People are a little bit annoyed, but mostly everyone's happy. I mean, the sales of the jerseys have gone up 400%. Do you guys not remember what Mr. Krabs did when the critic hated his restaurant, but loved SpongeBob. So Mr. Krabs took advantage of it, got SpongeBob straws, dressed up Squidward like SpongeBob. He changed the damn name. 
name to the crusty sponge and milked this thing until it was dry and everyone got a disease. That's pretty much what the NFL is doing. Taylor Swift is one of the most influential women. And you know how I said most conservatives or many conservatives, I'm not sure if most, but do not like her. And one of the reasons is because she's pro women choosing to have children. And in many of these people's heads, they say that means she's child free and telling women to never have children. But I made a video kind of clearing all of that up. Little dramatic once again. You guys had me thinking that she was child free and telling everyone that she, but she was. Anyway, researchers have said that Taylor has so much influence whatever Taylor does, says, wears, you know, people start doing it. If Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey got together, did the <laughs> and that resulted in a baby, we could have another baby boom. That's how influential this woman is. Most businesses would play up this Taylor Swift is breathing in my sanctuary. And look at that. It seems like it's playing in the NFL and ESPN's favor. Any business would do this. You guys are just lucky one that she has found true love with a football player. You know who you guys should be blaming? One, the NFL. You think they give a, they just want the money. Two, the media. And lastly, the Swifties. We cannot make a Taylor Swift video laughing at people who freak out over her being on screen for 32 seconds without laughing at the people who also freak out for her being on screen for 32 seconds. But these people who freak out are doing it with love. See, you guys do have a lot in common. Then maybe we can all just get... Okay, I guess we all can't get along. That's fine. The cult of Taylor Swift has been appointed one of the most dangerous celeb cults out there, even pointing out that they are a little too much will get you obliterated. A man called Papa Meat actually made a few videos about this titled The Cult of Taylor Swift. You have your Justin Bieber fans, you have your Harry Styles fans. Nobody really compares. Well, even Andrew Tate, but they don't think anybody really compares to Taylor Swift fans. The Swifties are they're fucked. They're fucked. absolutely fucked. And another where he made like an animated representation of how crazy diehard Taylor Swift fans can be and what happens when Taylor breaks up with her boyfriend. <laughs> After posting that video, the Swifties proved him right. They acted insane. The job or jobless, which I don't understand. It's like you watch a cartoon though. That's the job. And then also like just people call me fat, all this kind of stuff. It was really rampant. Somebody come in to do a hex, a hex that I saw a lot. Over the next three days, your hair is going to fall out. And I have to say that it does get pretty cultish. I just did a few searches of Taylor Swift fans. And you know, some of the anti Taylor Swift football people might be a little right. I personally don't think Taylor Swift ruins everything. It seems that her fans are doing more damage than Taylor Swift. Like they just refuse to control themselves or is it really Taylor Swift and her witchery and the spell she casted on them so at this premiere or Taylor Swift's movie fans could not control themselves they were crying screaming running up to the screen touching the screen kissing the screen hugging the screen then for some reason they all decided to join hands in a circle chanting to the point that people who actually wanted to watch the movie just had to leave as the real Taylor Swift fans didn't care about any of the other people they only cared about Taylor Swift and professing their love to Taylor and showing her the woman on the screen that can't see them that they are true fans. So much so that they wear diapers to her concert because they can't miss one or two minutes of this woman and her guitar. For the amount of stress and time it took me to get Taylor Swift tickets, I will be getting an adult diaper because I'm not missing a minute of it. Wow, those fans are really... Maybe they need an intermission. All right, get the diapers. We get it. Like I said, I typed in Taylor Swift fans, and I got a pretty good idea of what people mean when they say that Taylor's fans are a little... <laughs> Seeing multiple videos like that, seeing comments and like floods of comments, floods of videos of people trying to cancel people who either don't like Taylor Swift, critique Taylor Swift. I can see why people call them a cult because she can do no wrong. And of course the Swifties seem to be just as obsessed as the anti-Swifties of Taylor and Travis's relationships, just, you know, in the opposite way. They are very happy that she finally found a guy that is just obsessed of Taylor like they are. She's unbelievable. She's, uh, she's 
rewriting the history books herself or it's her throughout her life and uh it's been fun to kind of gather the swift oh and that he's big swift gets to be small girl with travis kelsey because he is large boy he gets to be small girl small girl she always dates these medium men and now she has a large boy take take let her be small girl i don't think there's anything wrong with being a fan of anyone but if you're convulsing in the middle of the arena peeing yourself or chanting in a circle during a movie while other people are trying to watch and you don't care or maybe you're on your way to write me an angry paragraph because i'm critiquing the swifty nature you might want to do some re-evaluation <laughs> There are whole conspiracies about Taylor Swift, but the most recent one is that she was hired by the NFL to date Travis Kelsey and together all three become unstoppable and annoy you. Just kidding. Make money. Just stacking the chips in the Chiefs' favor with the league having a plethora of reasons now why they'd want the Chiefs to win over the 49ers. And in this video, we will detail all the stunts they're pulling to try to rig it in the Chiefs' favor. But that's far-fetched, right? Football can be rigged, but I mean, what are they gonna do? Go to the Super Bowl? Taylor Swift ran onto the field to hug and kiss Travis Kelsey after the Chiefs beat the Ravens to advance to the Super Bowl. Ooh, well... They're going to the Super Bowl and people think that the Chiefs are set in stone going to win because of Taylor Swift. And you know, it's not the worst theory, though I guess we will have to see what happens during the Taylor Swift concert. Oop, I mean, I'm sorry. During the Super Bowl of Taylor Swift. Oh, no, wait, not that. Sorry, my script's a little wrong here. Let me look. What is it called? Um, During the Super Bowl. Super Bowl Sunday. That's what it's called. <laughs> for now. <laughs> You know, you could always do what I do. I don't watch football. I don't care about any of this. I just enjoy chaos. <laughs> anyway, what you could do is what I do. You know, if she bothers you that much, turn on old school Nicktoons and watch it on Super Bowl Sunday. They always play the Bubble Bowl episode of SpongeBob. The show is amazing. It hasn't changed at all for over 15 years. SpongeBob is a great performer and there's no Taylor Swift in Why is, why is she, why is she here? She's supposed to be at the actual Super Bowl. Why is Taylor Swift wearing those spiky cleats? No, it's not possible. Who are these spiky cleats? Anything is possible. Don't do it to SpongeBob. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh, I've been on the flex since flex on.